Don't ever clean your solar panels. Solar panels can get dirty and they, it can reduce production, but overall it's a waste of time and it can be dangerous and it may not have as big impact as you think. If you knew how much production you were losing to soiling or snow or some type of shading, you could save a lot of money, but it's not worth the risk or the money. Hi, I'm Joel Robinson. I'm a founder, builder, and solar entrepreneur, and I help businesses and families take back control of their energy. They can save money or just do something really interesting with their solar. Today, I'm talking about uh, a question that my customers ask me all the time. Should I clean my solar panels? Should I remove snow from my solar panels? Well, my answer is always no. I tell them no because it costs money if you hire someone. It, it takes time if you do it yourself. And it can be a little bit dangerous. You're up on the roof trying to pull a hose up there and, and squeegee them off. I just don't recommend it. But there is good information in this question. And obviously, if the solar panels are completely covered, yeah, we need to get them cleaned because you're losing production. Um, I've watched other videos about how important shading is, and I'm recommending that we cut down trees and remove everything from causing shading. Well, soiling is in the same category where an accumulation of dirt or dust or even snow effectively shuts the solar panels off. So how do we really know? If it's worth it well it's different for everybody and your individual situation is 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 up to you it's your decision but I wanted to give you a little information today to help you understand what's the difference okay so I've set up a little science experiment here and I'm outside it's really hot out so I apologize but what I've done is I've set up two solar panels Okay, those two solar panels are identical, same make and model, uh, same manufacturer. They are Silfab 370s. They're monofacial, okay? They're white, right? The backing's all white, meaning that it's, it's monofacial. These are not bifacial. But I, we were at the fair. We set up a booth at the fair, and we got a bunch of dust and dirt and grime on there and i thought well this is the perfect situation okay i cleaned one with just regular household cleaner and in a rag and i left the other one the way it is okay and then the way i'm going to test it is i'm hooking it up to an eco flow which uh is portable charger and it has a display and it actively tells me how much charge and and discharge we've got. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the solar panel that has been cleaned and we're gonna look at the solar panel that's uh, still dirty. We'll compare the two and then we'll have a good number for how much soiling is affecting our production. All right, here we go. Okay, so I've just connected the EcoFlow right here just MC4 connectors, okay, coming from the back of the solar panel, right? And we've connected it to the back of the EcoFlow right here. Had to buy this extra cable. Some people call it an Anderson port, but I believe it's called an XT60. Plug that in right there. All right, I apologize for any lighting issues or screen problems. Okay, I'll just read off the numbers to you. Here we go. Okay, solar panel number one, which is covered in light soiling. Okay, this is something that's really important to see is just a little bit of dirt on there. It was dust and rain that built that up. So it's really not a lot of soiling. Okay, this would be maybe typical of a household. Okay, this one's been cleaned. Perfectly spotless. All right, so we're gonna compare the two. All right, so I've plugged in one solar panel. The dirty solar panel comes in at 206 watts. We have a 370 
watt solar panel actively producing. Okay, this is how fast the water sprang out of the hose. Talked about that before. 206 watts coming from a panel that has what I would call mild soiling. There's not a lot of dirt on that. All right, let's switch to panel number two. See how much better it is. Okay, switched on panel number two in our little experiment. And we're wondering how much more the clean solar panel will produce than the panel with some mild soiling on it. Okay, it's just ramping up now. 170, 190, okay, 200. All right, looks like it's selling in right at 208 watts. So I have a 370 watt Silfab monofacial panel that's it has been cleaned totally free of any soiling and it's producing 208. So we've got uh, how much of an increase? And this is what's gonna tell us, should we clean our solar panels? Now I'm just testing it with one panel at a time. In a solar array is a collection of many panels, 20, 30, 40, or 50. So we'll have to take the gain that we see in production from a single clean solar panel and extrapolate that out over uh, all the other panels. Okay, that dirty solar panel is producing pretty close. I mean, it's, there's not much of a difference there. Um, I went back to testing the other one, 206. So we're seeing as little as two watts of difference between a dirty solar panel and a clean one. I'm shocked. <laughs> It'd be way more. Yeah, the right is my, I anticipated at least 10 watts, right? 206 versus 208. That can't be right. Because I switched back over to the clean solar panel just to see if. Just to see if we got some different numbers. Um, all right, the solar's ramping up. The inverter itself will, will slowly allow in more and more uh, amperage, which will bring the, the total watts in. 210, okay, 210. The new one's 210, so 206 to 210 is like four watts per panel. That's not as much as I was expecting. <laughs> that's, 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 that's very little, honestly. I don't know if that's worth it. It goes back to what I'm saying. It's probably not worth it. It's probably not worth it to climb up there or to hire someone to come out, right? I mean, in order to clear those two panels, okay, you're going to hire a cleaner, come out, charge you, I don't know. I don't even know what they charge, a few hundred dollars at least, four or five hundred dollars. You will get a gain. It will produce more, but is it really worth it? That's a tough call. Now, I realize this is just a simple science experiment and that in the end, I'm sure someone could be more mathematical or more scientific and come up with some better numbers. But you know, to relate to customers and to relate to people, we just have these simple experiments that we do. And in reality, it doesn't really affect that much. So, so it's an individual decision to clean your solar panels and maybe it's just for looks or or just to gain some production. But I say, don't ever clean your solar panels. It's not worth it. When we're grid tied, now, if we're off grid, those extra watts might really add up. That might make up the difference that you're interested in. But grid tied, just talking about selling back to the grid, that those are the dollars associated. Don't ever clean them. Snow will pull them off or wind will pull it off until it reaches a certain point. And I do agree that if you got mud caked on those, then yes. So if you're interested in more information about how solar really works in the real world, you know, please subscribe to the channel. It really does help. And watch my other videos because I'll talk more about soil.